Happiness is a cigar called Hamlet. All right, so back in the day, back in my day, if there was something good coming on the telly, like a, a, a good movie you wanted to see or maybe a good show you wanted to see or a good program, whatever, first thing you'd ask whoever was telling you was, which channel is it on? Now, if they said, oh, it's on BBC, you'd say, oh, nice. But if they said, oh, it's on RTE, that's our Irish network, you'd immediately let out a groan of discontent because you knew that your, your, your much weighted on program or film was going to have about 30 ad breaks during its showing. That was to allow you to make yourself a cup of tea. Why you needed 20 or 30 cups of tea during a two-hour film was never fully explained, but that was seemingly the rationale. But it was basically ad breaks every 10 minutes or less. Now, where am I going with this? So you had to, it was you had to just suffer through the ad breaks essentially but one of the ads that you never minded watching in fact you always got a kick out of at least i did because they were they were just well made they were funny and well crafted and well thought out and totally unpolitically correct and there was a lot of them and they ran seemingly forever was the hamlet cigar ads no, this hasn't turned into the smoking channel. Bear with me here. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't smoke, but you can smoke if you want. Smoke the head of yourself, I don't care. But the Hamlet cigar ads were just always a fountain of mirth, a fountain of comedy, a fountain of chuckles. Uh, always with the same basic theme and always ending with uh, the same situation. A guy lighting up his Hamlet and Bach's air on a G-string starting up. Uh, what you heard in the theme there. This just became uh, uh, a thing that was forever there. And they, they banned... I didn't realise this till I looked into it. They banned... Uh, advertising on television for tobacco in 1991 that long ago i didn't realize it was that long ago so with that went the the, the hamlet ads which were i thought one of the high points of you know the, if there was high points in television advertising this was one of them for me so I thought it'd be a bit of crack, a bit of fun to just relive some of those. So I've put together a little, a little tiptoe through the tulips of Hamlet ads. And here's my top 10, if you like. Now I've probably forgotten a load of them because they seem to, there seemed to be a new one out every few months and they just kept coming and they were always good crack. They were always funny and when they come on, you, you you couldn't but raise a little chuckle and you didn't mind that bit. Of course, there'd be all the feckin' supermarket ads <laughs> crap on after that you had, to, you had to suffer through. But this was the one ad you didn't have to suffer through. You kind of liked it. So let's have a go at this and see if you haven't seen them before. See what you think of this. Happiness is a cigar called Hamlet. All right, let's get the show on the road. Coming in at number ten, I think this was uh, this was one of the first ones, if not the first one. And this one's uh, this one's called Music Teacher. Let's have a look at this. Roll it there, Colette. Hamlet, the 
You still laugh at them. <laughs> oh, five and a half. Still raises a chuckle. That's from 64. <laughs> I think that was every music teacher ever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, that, okay, that, that kicked us off there. Number 9, we have, I think this was the first colour one, 74, I think this came out. I do remember it, barely. Uh, this is the, the one with the sculptor. Have a, have, a, have a crack at this one. <laughs> I don't know, it still make me laugh. <laughs> Alright, next up, number eight. This is from a time when cars, everything on the car was manual. It was just, there was nothing electric. Everything, was, everything had a switch or, or a windy thing or a button. And uh, here's one that I remember that... It'll strike a chord with anybody who's ever been through one of these car washes. <laughs> it's everybody's nightmare. And it's coming back again. <laughs> Alright, so this one now. Number seven. This one I do remember. There was a time when the worst thing, well apart from dying, that could befall a young lad, or, or any lad, was to lose your hair, to go bald, or be going bald. It, it was um, a, a point of, of, of absolute dread. Uh, for 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 all lads that I knew, there was only two. There was only two cool bald guys on planet Earth. One was Kojak. Kojak was this detective series back in the seventies. Was cool. He had lollipops and stuff. He was a cool guy. Wise cracking detective, New York, I think. And then the other was Yoel Brinner. So if you weren't Kojak and you weren't Yoel Brinner, and you found some some hairs in the sink or in the bath. When you were when you were finished, then it was it was tough going. <laughs> this one is from eighty six or eighty four or something. And anyway, you'll see where I'm going with this. And then he strikes the match. <laughs> I love that bit where the the band just stops, and they just knowingly look at each other, and then just break into the air in a cheese tray. <laughs> I gotta hand it to the, whoever was the 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 ad uh, marketing guys behind these ads. They, they really had some. <laughs> They really had some tulips. It was good. It was good, I have to say. Can't fault it. Now, where are we going? Number six. What have we got at number six? All right, it's a bit of a... We're into a sports team here. Um, football. Ah, yeah, great. See, these were marketed at lads. They, they, that's why. They, they were marketed at guys, obviously. I mean, this was their demographic. This, <laughs> this is who were smoking these things. So here's one uh, from 1990, I think it is. And this is... Uh, I think it's called Wall. Free kick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> every lad knows the pe every lad winces at that one. The mild cigar. <laughs> every guy every guy winces at the thought of that. Good good man Hamlet. 
We have a desert scene here. I remember a few desert ads back in the day. Let's see what Hamlet has for us. is a cigar called Hamlet, the mild cigar. All right, okay, worst thing that could possibly happen when you're out in the desert, just when you found that beautiful cold beer. <laughs> okay, you get it, you get it, you get it. Coming in at number four, we have Blind Date. So let's see how this goes. Red Carnation. Fools and horses there. Happiness is a cigar. Best date cigar. ever. The mild cigar. <laughs> All right. Number <laughs> I, 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 sidecars used to be a thing. I don't really remember them, but I did see a couple of real ones. I think way, way back. They weren't ever very popular or very common, but they did exist. Uh, there was a time where most people kind of graduated from bicycle to motorbike to car. It wasn't. It was a kind of a progression thing, purely. Uh, economic progression it wasn't a st you weren't it wasn't that what oh well, i'm into bikes no you were just into bikes because that was all you could afford at the time till you got a car um so the sidecar thing was obviously a very niche offset thing of that but uh, yeah good one there in hamlet right what have we got up for number two okay number two not like a cute little dog in an ad in an, ar an advert to, to get the juices flowing there for a lot of people once you have a cute little dog in there somewhere, uh, you can't go too far wrong. So let's see what this guy's up to. Okay, that's where a cute little dog gets you. Number one, we have Gregor Fisher, a uh, guy who played Rab Nesbitt back in the day. Uh, it was a Scottish-themed uh, show, ran for a few seasons. Very good, actually, uh, back in the 80s, I think it was. Anyway, this is uh, he had another thing going. It was kind of a Mr. Bean type thing. He was played this... It was called the Baldy Man, as you can see, for obvious reasons. It was this guy who was supposed to, you know, had this, the worst comb over. And but comb overs used to be, they actually were a thing, believe it or not, more common than you would uh, believe. They were very much a thing. As I said, going bald back in the day was the worst thing that could befall a young gent. It was like next to dying. It was, it's pretty bad, pretty bad uh, deal. Uh, anyway, let's see what we've got with Gregor Fisher here, the Baldy Man, number one. The old photo booth, remember them? <laughs> you never knew when it was going to flash. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Happiness is a cigar called Hamlet. A mild cigar. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the thing with those photo booths. You, they were all haphazard. You never really knew when the thing was going to go off. <laughs> ah, they were good though. All right, so there you go. That was my uh, that was my Hamlet uh, romp through the old Hamlet archives. Now there's loads of these. These seem to come out every couple of months. They were, they were just churning them out endlessly, and they were, as I said, one of the few ads you actually didn't mind popping up in your ad break because they were always good crack. They were always a bit of a laugh. You always got a giggle out of them. I don't know who was behind these, or maybe it was different people behind them. Uh, different agencies or maybe it was one agency but they were they were very creative you, you never knew at the start where it was going to go you always knew it was going to end up <laughs> in a certain place but you never knew how it was going to get there but uh, yeah okay as I said well, there's plenty of them on YouTube you should look them up yourself they're, they're all they're all very funny at least I think they're very funny uh, so there you go yep a little tiptoe through the history of Hamlet cigars and their ads and uh yeah, happiness, it seems, is a cigar called Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs>